Hello everyone, my name is Doug Bassett. I'm Senior Technical Instructor here at Stormwind Studios. And one of the things that really annoys me about Windows Server 2016, one of the few things that annoys me about it, is when I get a little blood on my status window right here. And I go in and I open up the services and it tells me that the downloaded Maps Manager is not working. Um, I don't want the downloaded Maps Manager because I'm not downloading any maps. This is running on all of my servers and every time I reboot the server, I get this little stop error here. So let's go ahead and fix that. There's really a couple of ways that we can do that. I can go into, uh, for example, Computer Manager. So we'll right click here, go up to, let's see, Computer Management. And inside of Computer Management, we are going to go in and look at the services. Now these services are gonna be by the display name, which is Downloaded Maps Manager. It's not gonna be by the actual service name, which would be Maps Broker. So um, we'll go ahead and give that a second to load here. Then we go into Services, and we'll select Services. And then we wanna go into the Downloaded Maps Manager. So then we'll go in and we will find it. Boom, and we will bring up its properties. Boom, and then what we can do is, is we can just simply go in and disable it. So that took, I don't know, 10, 15, 20 seconds. How many thousands of servers do I have? <laughs> So yeah, this isn't necessarily going to, to work out at scale. And so we're gonna get in with our friend, uh, Mr. PowerShell. So, and what I wanna do is I wanna do this inside of ISE simply because it'll be easier to see. So we'll go into PowerShell, ISE, and I am going to run this as an administrator. That way I have full authority, even though I'm logged on as administrator, you still want to run it as administrator so it can do all of its administrative type stuff. And we'll give that a second to load. And we're going to use a, uh, a PowerShell command um, and we're going to pipe it. We're going to start off by going in and getting the service. And then once we get the service, that'll load that object into our pipeline. And then we are going to give it the disable command. Now, if you just have one serve that's bothering you, go ahead and do it with a graphical user interface. But if you have tens of machines or hundreds of machines or thousands of machines, then definitely I would, uh, I would go in and, and do it with this PowerShell command. So we're gonna say get service, S-E-R-V-I-C-E, -E, and we're gonna give it the name. And here is where we have to get the actual name of the service, not the display name. So you know if we forgot, we're gonna have to go back and uh, look at it. Um, this is the downloaded maps manager but what we want is the actual name of the service, and it is Maps Broker. So we will say it is Maps Broker. And it's not case sensitive, M A P S B R O K E R. So that's going to get that and load it into our PowerShell pipeline. And then I am going to um, set the service and change its startup type. And we're going to change it to disabled. And I don't want it to say, are you sure? So I'll say C-O-N-F-I-R-M, confirm, and we will say, uh, confirm, we're gonna put that to a dollar sign, false. All right, now, as long as I didn't mistype this, let's see what happens. So I'm gonna fire it off, and uh, it says, oh, you mistyped confirm. <laughs> C-O-N-F-I-R-M, and once we've done it, yay! So let's go and check it. So I'm gonna go back into Server Manager, get back into the interface here. Actually, I'm gonna go into Computer Manager and we will open this up. And oops, this has not been updated. So we will refresh it. That's the thing, they're going to these web interfaces. Remember, if you leave an interface open and then you walk back to it, expecting it to be all awesome, you gotta be patient. And there it is, it says right there, disabled. Disabled. So I've given you a couple of options. You can uh, do it via the graphical user interface, or if you have a whole pile of computers, do it via PowerShell. And you know, these are just some of the day-to-day -day stuff as well as some of the, uh, the tricks and tips that we give in our classes. And I hope to see you in one real soon.